Hi, welcome to PMP webinar session from Edureka. Today we are going to look at cost management knowledge area defined in PMBOK of PMI. I am CMR Chandra MR, a project management professional. So as part of cost management knowledge area, we are going to understand what is project cost management is all about, overview on cost management and cost management processes. So now let us look at what is project cost management is all about. So when we say project cost management, we need to understand it basically includes about the cost which gets incurred, the expanding value of the monetary investment which is being done by the organization. So project cost management basically includes the processes involved in planning, estimating, budgeting, financing, funding, managing and controlling costs so the project can be completed within approved budget. So this requires a detailed cost management plan where the cost of the resources which is required to be used in the project has to be assessed and understood, estimated and budgeted, which provide the details of how to plan, manage and control the project cost in relation to the cost baseline and the cost variances. So project cost management plan is one of the subsidiary plan in project management plan. So techniques like earned value managements are used to check how the cost performance is happening throughout the project. So primarily project cost management is concerned with cost of resources needed to complete the project activities and it will consider the effects of project decisions on the subsequent recurring cost of using, maintaining and supporting the product service or results of the project. So now further to understand what is cost management is all about, the overview of it. So we need to look at what are the tailoring considerations made while doing the project cost management. So the tailoring considerations includes knowledge management, estimating and budgeting, earned value management, use of agile approach and governance. When I say knowledge management, so it is very important for an organization to have a formal knowledge management and financial database repositories that project manager is required to use that is readily accessible so that right decisions can be made taken at the right time when i say estimating and budgeting it requires to look at understanding approximating what is the amount of money which is going to incur in that particular project and accordingly the money the monetary resources has to be allocated to the project based on that project will be delivered and project manager should ensure the project will be delivered within that budgeted value monetary value which is allocated to the project so earned value management is a technique what is used to check how the project management relating to cost management in specific, schedule management as well as scope management, how it is performing, comparison with the baselines of these triple constraints defined in the baselines of the project. Using a general approach, which means depending on what kind of approach is required for the project scenario. So use of agile approach will be considered accordingly. Not necessarily that agile approach should be applicable to all the projects which is being done. So governance, governance when we say it's all about an authority, one which sets the directions and it is very essential to have such directions set so that necessary controls are established through policies, procedures and guidelines. So next type of cost we come across involves fixed cost, variable cost, direct cost, indirect cost and sunk cost. When I say fixed cost, so these are the cost that do not change throughout the project life cycle. For example, if a construction of a road is happening, the excavators and bulldozers are fixed cost. Whereas when I say variable cost, so the cost of this varies throughout the project. For example, hourly labor, cost of material could vary as the project progresses. So indirect cost and direct cost, if you look at that direct and indirect cost, direct cost refers to that cost which clearly assigned to the project on the labor materials which are directly involved in the project. When I say indirect cost, it is basically speaks about the cost involved in administration, basically overhead costs like indirect materials, utilities, tax, insurance, property, repairs, etc. So sunk cost basically refers to that cost which cannot be recovered after incurring it. For example, cost which has been incurred while paying a rent for the project facility, what is being utilized for doing the project, that cannot come back. That is called sunk cost. 
So analyzing various different types of cost will become very essential so that estimation, approximation and allocation of budget and also this understanding of the cost will also help in making right decisions, justifying whether we need to include such costs or not in the projects. Further, let us go and look at understanding cost management processes. So cost management processes includes basically four processes. Plan cost management, estimate cost, determine budget and control cost. When I say plan cost management, plan cost management, estimate cost management and determine budget are part of planning process group. Whereas control cost falls under monitoring and controlling process group. Now let us look at plan cost management. So plan cost management is the process of defining how the project's cost will be estimated, budgeted, managed, monitored and controlled. So it is the initial process of cost management where one has to define how the cost of the project will be looked at after estimation that needs to be monitored. How are you going to monitor and control? What is that particular cost it goes and incurs for a given project? So generally the techniques like WBS, work breakdown structure, which is basically done in scope management is considered. And when you do work breakdown structure, basically the technique of decomposition is used to break down the product into multiple levels and cost will be allocated from the bottom level of the WBS and it is bottom up estimate. I mean, you consolidate upwards. So many techniques are used to do that, like expert judgments, analogous estimation, parametric estimation, three point estimation, PERT estimation. So these estimations includes basically the labor utilized, the material utilized, the equipment, what is used as part of the project. All this will become a cost component. So this process, plan cost management process, gives a rough outline of the number of resources involved and shows the optimum path to the manage the project cost throughout the project life cycle. Inputs to this process includes project charter, project management plan, basically schedule management plan and risk management plan, enterprise environmental factors and organizational process assets. The tools and techniques which are used for plan cost management process would be expert judgment, data analysis and meetings. The output of this process would be cost management plan. So cost management plan is one of the subsidiary plans where this particular plan will go and get consolidated into a bigger plan along with the other subsidiary plans. So when I say other subsidiary plans, we need to think about the scope management plan, schedule management plan, quality management plan. Likewise, we have a nine knowledge areas, means nine subsidiary plans, and all of these are consolidated in integration management knowledge area, and you will have a full plan consolidated. So next process is estimate cost. When I say estimate cost, it is a process of developing an approximation of cost of resources needed to complete the project work. So this is the second process in the project cost management after the cost management plan that helps in estimating the cost of the resources required for the project completion. Since cost is an important variable that ensures project success, one has to be very careful while producing the estimated amount of total project cost. So throughout the project life cycle, this process is performed at periodical intervals. A project manager uses various methods to estimate cost depending on amount of information available. So inputs to this process is project management plan like cost management plan, quality management plan, scope baseline, project scope statement, work breakdown structure, WBS dictionary. Project documents like lessons learned register, project schedule, resource requirement, risk register, then enterprise environmental factors and organizational process assets. The tools used as part of this particular process, estimate cost would be expert judgment where involvement of the experts, mainly financial experts, experts who understand that particular project domain and the cost of it. So analogous estimation where consideration of historical information in terms of what was the estimation in the earlier project, how much it took to deliver this or do this activity or to acquire some resources. Based on that, you would do the estimation. Parametric estimation, extension of analogous estimation where the parameter of current scenario is considered along with the historical information and estimation is done. Bottom-up estimation, as I mentioned earlier, you will have a work breakdown structure. At the bottom of the work breakdown structure, you are going to look at what are the resources required to accomplish that particular features, functionality or output. At the same time, looking at what activities are involved, 
what effort is involved and estimating based on that then once it is done at the lower level of wbs that will be consolidated upwards once it is consolidated at the higher level of the wbs one will have a entire estimation for the project so next is three point estimation where the estimation of optimistic pessimistics and most likely estimates are taken and average of that is obtained so this requires a lot of discussion with an experts the one who think that without any issues what could be the estimation considering what are the issues which would occur and what is that optimally i can accomplish so pessimistic optimistic and most likely view are taken while taking the average of it so data analysis checking on all the data what is available relating to this project and resources of this project deliverables of this project and analyzing to estimate it then project management information system so this helps to provide a lot of informations and also a methods and approaches which would help in terms of estimating the cost so decision making means decision making techniques involves a lot of exercise in terms of involving various different experts or maybe the people who are involved in the delivery people who understands the technology people who understand the dynamics associated with the project and facilitate that discussions and make the decision so output of this process includes cost estimates basis of estimates when we say basis of estimates why are we saying it is so much so if you estimate a cost for certain particular activity to be completed why are we saying so much of estimate what is the reason so justifying that so basis of estimate provides you that details then project documents updates so next process would be determine budget so determine budget is the process of aggregating the estimated cost of individual activities or work packages and establishing the authorized cost baseline so this is a third process in cost management knowledge area so this involves the activities a task summed up to identify what is that particular cost baseline would be so cost baseline of the budget include all the authorized funds that are essential for project execution so the budget basically includes various reserves of contingency when i say contingency we are speaking about the risk so risk identification has to happen so which happens in risk management knowledge area so risk identification assessing and analyzing the risk and also defining the risk responses once that is done what cost it incurs while doing it that will be put as a contingency reserve along with all the efforts cost or material cost which has been consolidated upwards in wbs structure and then adding contingency reserve to it will become cost baseline so above this there will be management reserve where project manager cannot utilize the management reserve based on the willingness but it is kept with certain calculation done by the management to see to that project will go with the way it is planned so any unforeseen circumstances which is not even identified unknown risk management reserves would be used so including contingency reserve and all the project cost consolidated cost baseline so this cost baseline is authorized so it is an authorized time phase budget that is used as the initial point for monitoring and calculating the project performance and progress so this is done through earned value management so this process is executed at a specific points in the project which are generally predefined so the inputs to this project would be project management plan basically cost management plan resource management plan scope baseline project documents that is basis of estimates cost estimates project schedule risk register then business documents which is business case benefits management plan then agreements which is basically that agreement which is done with the suppliers or which is done with any of the customers so those are considered because you may be acquiring a specific product service or you are producing a specific product or services for your consumer so these needs to be understood in what terms the project is being worked then enterprise environmental factors and organizational process assets so the tools used for this particular process determine budget is expert judgment historical information review data analysis cost aggregation funding limit reconciliation so when we say cost aggregation and funding limit reconciliations one has to ensure all the fund flow how is that happening what is the current condition of this fund flow in the organization that needs to be understood and also based on the schedules of the project money needs to be organized the incoming money flow outgoing money flow in the name of cost and revenue that needs to be checked so that necessary investment which is required for project is available or not is understood so this requires working with finance in specific so financing means the allocation of the budget at the same time ensuring that flow happens the money which is allocated comes in 
Outputs of determined budget process would be the cost baseline, then project funding requirements and project documents updates. So next process would be control cost. So control cost is a process of monitoring the status of project to update the project cost and managing changes to the cost baseline. So this is the final process which is in monitoring and control process group. So this is primarily concerned with measurement of variances of the actual cost from the proposed baseline. So various methods and procedures are implemented here to track the project performance and expenses against its progress rate. Meanwhile, all the variances are recorded and compared with with actual baselines. If any necessary corrections are required, those will be done through raising change request. So control cost process will be responsible for explaining the reasons for variance and further assist the project manager in taking corrective actions to incur minimum cost or cost according to what is budgeted or planned. So inputs to this process involves project management plan that is cost management plan, cost baseline, performance measurement baseline, project documents, then project funding requirements, work performance data, and then organizational process assets. The tools used for control cost process would be expert judgment, data analysis, two complete performance index, and project management information system. So output of this process would be work performance information, cost forecasts, change request, project documents updates, and project management plan updates. So that's all about cost management, knowledge area defined in PMBOK and its process. This provides a basic glimpse about what is cost management process is all about. I hope this provided some insight towards the cost management. Thank you so much for being here until we come up again with a new webinar session. Take care.